Hello everyone, welcome to Engineered Learnings. Engineered Learnings has been created as an effort to help and reach out to all the engineering students, aspirants and professionals out there with the basic understanding and the crux of the topics important for placements, vivas, semesters, competitive examinations and all types of interviews. So let's go to today's topic. Welcome everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the Yadavpur University Chemical Engineering Department research prospects. And not only that, we are going to discuss about the higher studies plans um, that uh, you can opt for if you want to go for higher studies. So basically, uh, this is going to be a detailed uh, discussion on what are the research facilities in the labs, what are the work that is being done in Yadavpur University, in MTech, in PhD, in uh, BE, so how can you join the programs and uh, what if you have our study plans for other university other than Jadhapur University like IITs or you want to go abroad for doing that. So what are the prospects for it? We are going to discuss all of that uh, in this video. So basically first let's, let's start about, last, um, start about uh, the topic with a discussion on what are the equipments, what are the lab equipments that are being provided in Jadhapur University for research uh, facilities. Like we have a discometer, a FTIR, a spectrophotometer, a rotary evaporator, high temperature furnaces, gas thermometer and apart from this a lot of other equipment, we have just written a few of them in our lab so that we can uh, convince the people that it is an infrastructure that you should go for. We are trying to bring in new equipments also. So we have a list of several other equipments, these are just a few that has been enlisted here. Now let's come to the research findings. Where does the research findings uh, come from? Uh, that is that what? Uh, where do we get our funding for doing the research? There are three major sources. That is the Department of Science and Technology, that is DST, the Department of Biotechnology (DBT), and the University Research Grants. So basically, University grants uh, funds to researchers to. Uh, undergo independent research uh, on a particular topic. You're going to get, uh, every professor is given a certain fund, and this is the university research grant. So, basically, university grants it. So, uh, having talked about the formal things, now let's talk about the subjects or the uh, things that are being done in, in, in the research prospect sector. Basically, researches on heat and mass transfer is being done, fluid dynamics is being done, polymer technology. Membrane technology, bioprocess engineering, nanotechnology, and catalytic study. So, talking about each of them briefly, mass and heat transfer um, studies mainly uh, deals with uh, studies for application to industry. So, you have to have an industrial knowledge of the scale up of the same if you are applying it on a prototype. So, basically, these are being studied on particular units like distillation columns or reactors. You need to study the entire heat and mass transfer operation so that you get to um, know the application of the same in the industry. Now coming to fluid dynamics, it basically approaches two types of studies that is laminar and turbulent flow studies. There are much more complex branches to it, uh, uh, the boundary layer study and everything other than that. And uh, so you need to study in detail uh, for that. I'm just discussing the uh, topics that come under the headings of this. Like polymer technology, they deal with uh, different type of uh, polymer making, uh, surfaces making, uh, different kinds of uh, different kinds of things membrane technology deals with different kind of membrane designs for separation uh, processes like to separate from a, a, a solid from a liquid what membrane to use what pore size to use which animal membrane to use uh, whether it's going to be a natural membrane or, or a synthetic membrane where you're going to how you're going to synthesize that membrane so all of that and what temperature do you need to keep what pressure maximum pressure can it withstand uh, these are all things Bioprocess engineering it basically deals with uh, biological waste management and, and uh, making uh, making constructive things, utilizing those uh, biological waste materials or uh, biological sources like plants or trees to uh, to develop fuels. Uh, particularly, it's a fuel technology that's being developed from um, natural sources or biological sources. 
Uh, next is nanotechnology. We know that the world is being dominated by nanotechnology these days. From a, a chip to everything, from microchip to nanochip, everything is being dominated by the nanotechnology. So I do not need to elaborate that uh, further. I believe. Last is uh, last but not least is catalyst. The catalyst study is extremely important. Uh, what type of catalyst is particularly uh, required for a reaction? We uh, try to develop uh, prototypes for. Uh, undergoing catalytic study which catalysts will serve the best like uh, these are the branches of uh, things that we generally study uh, my topic in particular uh, in my project was basically uh, regarding activated carbon how to increase the activation of activated carbon by using activating agents so what happens is my project was basically to briefly explain my project was basically activated carbon has surfaces open for trapping in the dyes or other chemicals from a uh, flowing stream so basically to separate a solid or any dispersed phase from any other liquid phase activated carbon acts as a very good adsorber it has a good surface property so that its surface is open and it is uh, it is allowing the materials in the solution to settle on those surfaces or get, get trapped on those surfaces my work was to use chemical activation uh, was to use different types of chemicals like KOH or ZNCN2 to, to open up those pores and further uh, uh, further make those surfaces much more uh, broader or open so that further adsorption can take place. So it's enhancement of adsorption properties by in using different types of chemical reactions or activating engines. This was my task in my project. So having talked about my project, uh, these are the different topics that I've already covered. These have been covered in general. Apart from this, the specializations uh, of other projects are also being done in our department in particular. From 2008 to 18, we hold the legacy of 602 peer projects. So, so 602 peer publications have been done and those uh, citations have been in good good uh, publications like we have uh, publications in LCDR and uh, other publications uh, as well. So basically these uh, publications uh, are uh, cited well. We have some research journals, uh, we have some uh, journals. So, so um, the publications is a, is a big thing. You want to get your paper published, this is the best place for you. A lot of papers are being published every year. You can see the figures. Uh, now coming to internship, how can you get into this uh, entire procedure? You want to work in these labs, you want to work with a particular topic of your interest, how are you going to get here? So for these students that are studying in Jalapur University, you can straight away uh, go to the teachers, approach the teachers with your interest, like you know which teacher uh, specializes in what and you can accordingly approach that uh, teacher and you can ask him or her to uh, guide you through, to take you as uh, as um, uh, student under under their guidance uh, so basically it's your subject of interest that you want to do if you are looking for higher studies then second year end is the perfect time to go for uh, the this um, internship in your own college to approach those teachers and work under them in their labs so that you can have a first-hand experience now for uh, those who are not from JU or from outside JU uh, Jalapur University you can straight away type a mail to our respective teachers you will find their uh, mail IDs in the website you will go to the department chemical engineering department and you will find the official mail IDs of all the professors there uh, it would be very good if you can come to the university and meet those professors one-to-one professors -one and have an interaction with them it would be quite nice so you can have paid or unpaid internship here depending on the funds that the uh, research is having. Apart from this, you can also pursue MTech or PhD in Jalapur University. MTech seats in chemical engineering are around 14 to 18, and PhD is variable as and when uh, required. So, if you meet the conditions, you're going to get a stipend and you're going to get a PhD under one of the professors of Jalapur University chemical engineering. So, uh, now talking about the most important aspect that you have been waiting for. What are the higher studies plans that we can go for? Look, I have a few batchmates of mine, I have a few seniors of mine who have gone outside and are doing very good for themselves. And the ones who want to go for higher studies have very good chances. These are the few prospects that I have uh, written here. Like you can do a master's in chemical engineering from IITs and IISC or in the Institute of uh, Chemical Technology, that is ICT, or other reputed institutes. And thereafter, ME, after completing an ME, you can go for research and development in labs or you can go for a PhD in, uh, outside India that is abroad. Uh, apart from this, what one of uh, two of our batchmates have been doing, uh, they are uh, they have pursued the one of them have pursued uh, 
MS abroad, one of them have pursued an MS abroad and one of them have pursued a MS PhD abroad. So you can go for this prospects as well. So apart from uh, these prospects, uh, there are several other uh, branches that you can opt for. You can also opt for a, a master's in Jalapur University itself if you are uh, uh, from outside Jalapur or if you are from Jalapur, if you have a gate rank well enough, so you can apply there. So this is basically through the gate rank and these are basically by GRE, TOEFL, other examinations. So depending on which country you want to avail your uh, PhD or MS from, it depends if you are going to US, you are going to give a GRE. So talking about the universities that are, uh, that are for the GRE, uh, through the GRE, there is this Ohio State, one of my friends has gone there, Ohio State University, Virginia Tech, one of my friends is there, Virginia Tech, then there is Michigan State, one of my seniors, seniors have gone there, and Rochester is also there, Rochester, another famous university, Rochester University. National State University and then there is Purdue University so there are a lot of universities that you can go for if you go for a these are the five one of the best universities in USA if you are going for this Ohio State, Virgin Tech, Virginia Tech and then Michigan State University, Rochester University and Purdue University it is a very good United States you can always go for this and uh, Thereafter you can decide. So higher studies you can always go for ME or MS or MS PhD abroad, whatever you wish to do and after that you can pursue your PhD and go for uh, professorship or uh, maybe postdoc or maybe R&D after completing your PhD as well. So there are different prospects to it. So you can always go for higher studies if you love the subject. We have already stated what are the facilities here so you can come here as well for uh, PhD. I think uh, that will be enough, more will be available on the website and if you have any questions, if you have any queries, you can mail us, we will uh, clarify those things and if I have missed anything, my seniors, my batchmates and my juniors can add up in the comment section, whatever I missed. Uh, I think that's it for today and uh, thank you very much, uh, comment, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.